Bye. I love the hair and like. The Thanks. Carly, I love the hair. Thank you. Matt, love your roses. <laughs> They're James. like pasties. <laughs> I know. Does that bother you? I wish you? they were upside down. <laughs> well, let's just pretend that they're up there. <laughs> and those are the tassels hanging. And if he swings them right. <laughs> yeah, like he swung them up and they're stuck. <laughs> they're kind of there. Just... Your nipples are not up there. Oh, my God. No, they're, not. <laughs> they're not, but <laughs> they could be. I wish. <laughs> Why? Uh, I mean, I'm just. Whatever. You would have legit cleavage if you pushed your nipples all the way up there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would. <laughs> They're too wide. <laughs> They're on his sh- on his sh- He's got hammerhead. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? They're looking out there. <laughs> Why is there a moment on this show every time that you say, what does that even mean to Brian? Because <laughs> hammerheads have both, they go both ways. Yeah, their eyes look no, no. out to the side, just like. His oh, it's one, it's one <laughs> hammerhead. Sure. Oh, yeah, it's right. not multiple hammerheads. <laughs> Splitting Hairs Free Salon Education Podcast starts now. Featuring Matt Beck, Christina Cavalcanti, Brian Hare, and Carly Wareheim. T- today's episode is powered by MinervaBeauty.com. What's up, guys? Welcome to Splitting Hairs, the Hairdressers Podcast, Episode Three. I'm feeling like we're in the groove now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The way your hair is sitting right now is giving you a really cool widow's peak, <laughs> like straight on. I know. You look like Dracula. Stop staring at my hair. I, <laughs> it's staring at it me. Looks good. <laughs> um, Brian, your facial hair looks good. I Dang. like it. I Dang. like it with the hair back. I <laughs> like it. You know what's funny? Approved. <laughs> I actually wasn't going to do my hair today. I had a hat on, and then I just oh, shoot. last minute decided to change it, yeah, and that's why my hair is doing this, because it half dried. It looks fine. You know, I'm just saying. No, like, no, I know. You have I'm this cool saying. anime thing going right now. It looks fine. It's just on. gray, and it, you know, it has No, a, I like the hair done with the roses instead of the hat. Cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Totally. We're looks, all approving. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Thanks, just guys. In different Carly, ways. Carly, you look cute. Thank you. You. <laughs> you, got rid of your, you got rid of your pink hair. I did. Oh, yeah. yeah. Looks pink good. is gone. Yep. Thank you. Shout out to my for stylist week. over there. <laughs> yeah. For this week. Yeah. Last week yeah. it was bangs. This week it's blonde. Wait, shout out Stay to tuned. Tuned. Um, what, um, Kenra's. Uh, what did we use? Oh, yeah. yeah. It was Kenra. Color right? remover. The yeah. Kenra. The direct dye remover. Um, that works amazingly. Um, took my pink right out, and my hair doesn't feel like crap. Yeah, yeah. that's been the talk of the building this week. <laughs> yeah. Kenra, yeah. Kenra. Yeah. Brian used it on... On my client, who we've been doing like a year of purple. Mm-hmm. And she came in, she's like, all right, I want to be blonde. I was like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, I mean, I, Did he actually It was came definitely back one here. of those like <laughs> yeah. very low promise <laughs> in hopes of like... At no, least he, meeting that. It was yeah. one of those days where Brian comes, like, his client sits down, he does, like, the little mini consultation, and he's like, comes in, he's like, so, yep. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't want to be purple anymore. <laughs> um, do we have any of that color remover? <laughs> I was like, I uh, never used it, but we have it. Yeah, yeah, turned and out. And pleasantly, pleasantly day. surprised. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, really good. And so I we, just had to try to play it cool. Like, <laughs> I knew it would work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't play it cool. That's not my thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is the worst though when you're like you don't know. Yeah. And and she has she has really dark. You were well, like you were afraid it was going to What I was most scared of is like years, many many years ago, we went through this once and we used a different color remover and I remember I was taking pictures of it because like I think we were pulling out like pink or something and it was literally turning like green in the mm. bowl and I was like that's not better. <laughs> so approaching it this time, I was definitely nervous, but pleasantly surprised. Yeah. Sweet. Good. Um, also want to let everybody know, so we're growing on iTunes, but definitely make sure you're subscribing and listening. It's much, I mean, I know you guys like to look at us, but, <laughs> <laughs> but to see our ever-changing, uh, what we're wearing in our hair, but the audio version on your way to work is a much easier way to consume this. So go uh, subscribe on iTunes, but also make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. So hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, because if you don't hit that, you won't know when we go live because it's around 10 o'clock every Friday and you can be a part of the show. So, um, and also comment right now uh, in the chat, because we are live on all the platforms, but um, also- We do have a couple people in the chat. Cool. Uh, And comment- 
on the video, even if this is post-produced later, um, to say that you want to spin the free wheel. Let us know uh, so that we can go back and we can find you. Um, at the end of the show, we'll be spinning that, giving away some cool stuff. So uh, make sure you uh, are ready for that. Crystal's here from PA. And so are we. San Francisco <laughs> fangirl loves everyone's hair. Um, and your uncle Steve says, good morning, Matt and Christina. Love you guys. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Yeah. Love you, Uncle Steve. <laughs> yeah, we thanks, love you guys. Steve. Miss thanks. you. <laughs> Something like brightens my day when my Uncle Steve, like, first off, I never would have pictured my Uncle Steve watching a YouTube video. And when he pops on here live, it just makes my day. So I wish I knew um, what it felt like to get a good morning from Uncle Steve. <laughs> well, now you do. I don't have uh, we didn't get one. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe next time. You got to um, earn it. Yeah, you got to earn it. Yeah. Um, all right. So I did actually, so uh, a company, JRL Professional, um, hit me up on Instagram through DM literally last week. And they were like, can we send you something? And I was like, sure, of course. Um, and then they literally, I mean, they sent me this. This. So, He's working, so for we'll all talk of you that it. we just sent to iTunes to listen <laughs> yeah. to this, please read yeah. more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a box. So you're gonna hear a kid on Christmas. So we got a huge ass yeah. We'll box. talk. We'll talk it through quick. I won't. I won't spend a lot of time on it. But there's literally like cutting, um, cutting bibs, bibs, and capes. A bag, which is cool. Is that but a tote? That's not even the cool. I mean, this is cool too, but <laughs> it's not even the coolest part. There's this manual clipper. Oh. Oh. Back in the day. Wow. So super excited about Is that this. coming back. Um, I don't know, but I'm going to try it out. I'm I've gonna, never seen one of those. Before. I should use this on it's Jeff's sitting there yesterday. Like <laughs> yeah, you, uh, back in the day? Carly's showing her age. <laughs> like She's yesterday? like, I've never seen. <laughs> <laughs> no, Carly, this nope. is before all of our days. Ah, okay. so, so yeah, so there's that. And then I'm going to sit here and just play with it and do my leg hair. They sent clips. I mean, it's literally so much stuff. Swag. Clippers. So. Wow. Nice. No. Battery clippers. Can I open this, Matt? A hair dryer. No. Come on. Kit no. in a oh, backpack. No. <laughs> Wait, what is that? Like if you're going camping, but you're going to do hair. See, Dyson doesn't <gasps> give you a backpack. When you go on like a hair blood. tour. First off, Dyson doesn't give you anything. <laughs> no. Yep. So Dyson's happy to charge you $40 for <laughs> anything. Guys, stop. <laughs> Just no, that's not true. I, I, they don't. We all use the blow dryers every day. <laughs> yeah, and we paid for every cent of what, we, <laughs> like, <laughs> what we're using. You paid for them. You're like, no, Dyson, I use it every day. I love it. I'm just saying, this is great. I do love it, but they don't give swag. No. <laughs> um, so a trimmer and then a couple of more. That was like, smoothing iron. Yeah, yeah, it literally nice. doesn't How stop. high does it go? I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully does it, go just does it go up to Christina oh temperature? I don't put it on high. No, but it gets crazy. put on high for you. Yeah. Guys, this is crazy, right? All like, right. I know. <laughs> it doesn't stop. <laughs> okay, so let's just, for the audio people listening, they literally, they sent me two curling irons, yeah, a Carly's trimmer, a clipper, uh, a manual clipper, a blow dryer, they, they literally, they sent me everything. Capes, clips, stop. all that. So where are they Where do you want it to go? Of? So I don't know where they're out of. Oh. We're going to um, build a wall around I'm Carly. learning more about them, but and then a sweet clipper mat, of course, because you need that for your station. <laughs> <laughs> like It's I, not in focus. No, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. I'm not even in focus right now. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so it's that's like Christmas. So that's thank awesome. you to JRL Professional. I, I don't even know if... Drool. Yeah. You use them this week and then get yeah. back to us. Yeah, we'll next. do a we'll do a full report and any videos I'm going to put out, I'm going to use them in that too. So, uh, but shout out to them. That's very very nice. Uh, Love that. That's awesome. And anybody ever wants to do that, that's it's much appreciated. Mm -hmm. All I ever get sent is spam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, from free salon education. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's from Matt. Oh, oh it's just spam. <laughs> oh, it's just spam. <laughs> It's never spam. You should let you should make sure it's not spam. Add me no, to your favorites on yeah. email, please. Um, all right. So oh, yeah, because people that do um, buy the uh, the classes, the the courses, mm -hmm. we think sometimes the the email was going to spam. They're like, yeah. how do I get my link? You know, but yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah. All right, cool. He just shut me up. Okay. No, I wasn't shutting you up. I actually, sorry. Yeah. I was trying to process the next. What a what a perfect segue. Yeah. In, 
-hmm. It's silencing women. Okay, Christina. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. And in silencing women and... Oh. Going into our we first story for the podcast. pay more for our haircut. This episode of Splitting Hairs is powered by MinervaBeauty.com. If you're planning on opening or renovating a salon or barber shop, then you want to partner with Minerva Beauty, the trusted equipment provider for over 175,000 beauty industry businesses worldwide. Scrolling their website, you'll be blown away at the wide range of designs, styles, colors, and variety and price points offered, truly suiting the equipment needs of every individual. And if you don't believe me, go visit their massive showroom and warehouse in Monroe, Georgia to experience everything their equipment provides firsthand. Minerva's warehouse carries the largest in-stock salon equipment inventory in the world, so most items are available for same-day pickup or shipping. So get started by shopping today at MinervaBeauty.com and use the code FSE10 at checkout to get 10% off Minerva brand items. Exclusions apply. Go ahead. So the first thing we wanted to talk about is this article in the UK. They noticed the price disparity. I mean, it is everywhere. And they did a poll and saw that women were paying sometimes on average over three times what men were paying for haircuts. Uh, people in the industry are trying to justify why, saying that it takes more time and more effort and all this stuff. And basically their solution to the problem in Belgium, which we can discuss this, was to break it down to how much you should charge by the minute for a haircut. Uh, they came to like a dollar thirty in theirs, depending on like regardless of gender and all that. I do think it's great that they came up with a solution. Yeah. I've been thinking a lot about this since the article was presented last week and like how I've addressed it and because I think it's important to not just note that it's a problem, but how do you solve it? Right. And I don't know. We'll get into it because I obviously have lots to say because I always do about everything. Yeah. Um, but what, Christina, how do you feel about this? <laughs> that was good. I don't have to start. I think you guys can start. Um, oh, now she doesn't want to talk. No, no, I think you. I think <laughs> you all. I think you all. You all should I start. I know. You, yeah, I know you guys I'll have a lot to I say. Think. Um, and you all are behind the chair more often. Yeah. Cutting hair. Yeah. Um, getting I mean, into cutting and um coloring too because then it's like here's why yeah go, yeah, yeah. <laughs> here's why i don't want to say anything before you say something because i actually i know you have a strong i'd like to hear your opinion on it yeah. and i also agreed with the one small little conversation we had about this yeah i agreed with it and it, it would be where i would go yeah. you know so i don't want to i don't want to say I'd, I'd like to hear what your thoughts are on it and then we can go from there also yeah 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 because also as salon owners this is an interesting conversation. I actually right. think we should make a shift with this. Um, in but I just want to hear what you, you guys. Yeah, think. no. So I I was thinking a lot about it, and I was actually really happy that this this conversation got pushed to this week because in the last week I've had a couple of clients in my chair that this discussion kind of applies to. So basically, where I was coming from with it is, you know, haircuts are just one of those things that shouldn't be gendered or binary, like glasses or fragrance but it just always has been so there always was that excuse oh a men's haircut doesn't take as long or a women's haircut doesn't take as long or it takes longer whatever but where i come from with it is it it does it comes down to timing mm -hmm. and what i have also experienced is like i have a few clients that identify as non-binary and so in that scenario, I do it based on how long it takes. Because generally, you know, my, my traditional men's haircuts are booked for 30 minutes and the women's haircuts are booked for 60. So in that scenario, I was trying to do it just based on how much time it took. And last week, I had like the uncomfortable moment of my, I have a client whose child is non-binary and I do both their hair and it's great. And I had to tell the mother, I was like, listen, when you come up to pay, it comes up on the register right in front of your face, women's haircut. I'm not slighting your child. It's just, it was a 60 minute haircut. So that's, that's why it's, it, it is that way. Yeah. Cause I just want to make sure that like they feel seen by me and yeah. I'm not ignoring, mm -hmm. you know, their identity or how they identify. And so I think the solution to that in, in my idea would be to change it 
as you don't book it as a hair a woman's haircut or a men's haircut book it as a 30 minute haircut or a 60 minute haircut or yeah. 45 whatever your timing is that works uh-huh. and have it just come up as that because you know there are men's haircuts that have in my book that have long long hair but i still crank it out in 30 minutes because you know i'm not doing like blow dry and all the fancy styling you know we cut it squeeze some stuff in it and they go so they're paying for a 30 minute haircut even though they've got hair past their shoulders yeah and like i have guys that come in and they have hair past their shoulders and they i don't blow dry them though, right though. so like that their haircut actually takes me less time than a regular men's haircut right and there might be um depending on the client like some people don't want to blow dryer or, or whatever but then that goes back to the conversation of having so many additional charges mm. but i do i was that's what i was saying like i like the idea of just charging for 15 minutes because you know leo takes me 15 minutes but then i also and i kind of that's how i charge him i charge him half of what i charge for a regular men's cut or whatever but then um so having a 15 minute haircut a 30 minute haircut 45 minute haircut and a 60 minute haircut and that's just your four haircut prices makes sense to me like i don't think that that that's not now i'm not charging you you know, 30 for this. And then if you want the blow dry, it's this. And then, right. you know, it's like just the, this is yeah, the time that very, you are going to pay for. Yeah, exactly. You know, I, um, I come from a salon like p- before I came back here that did hourly pricing. Um, and it was great for like the haircuts for sure, because, you know, even if you have a woman say that has like fine hair versus a woman that has more thick hair, it's going to take you more time. Yeah. And I, I think it worked well for haircuts getting into like color and like color services. It's a little tricky because then, you know, you have to factor in product usage to that time. Um, but yeah, I think, I think for haircuts, it's if you, wouldn't it though, if you were using more product and they had more hair and it was taking you more time, mm-hmm. it would just cost more, right? What got yeah. tricky? At- I don't know personally because yeah. I didn't, you know, you I, didn't really. I just worked there. Okay, but, okay. Um, but I think, you know, they, I think what they were realizing is like, okay, you were charging for, um, say a three hour like highlight service. And yeah. in that time you just do whatever you can do. So that might be like, okay, a highlighting service plus a conditioning treatment plus a haircut. And you're like, oh, that's I see. all you could actually do a lot you, of things. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. I get that. I think that that works. Cause like I said, I'm, I'm a little bit obsessed with numbers and it's where, this is where my OCD kicks in. And I've looked at comparing like what I charge for an hour for an hour haircut compared to color and like the way that I book, it's pretty comparable for yeah. like how much time. Because I just keep looking at it as this is how much time I'm giving to this person. Yeah. And whatever, like you said, whatever we do, this is what we do. But like, I think for me, where I'm at in my career, this would be a pretty easy transition. Mm-hmm. You know, there's, you know, maybe a little bit here and there. New clients, obviously, you got to kind of feel that out what that looks like but i do think that eventually this i mean it is changing we had the comment last week of like oh you know gendering haircuts is it's 2024 what are you doing it does have to start to move for it to ever change yeah 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 i totally agree cool anything um chrissy in the chat said people should pay for time in the chair Mm -hmm. um she's like she said i'm being time to perform haircuts some men really are picky and take forever. Yep. They want a low bob fade and a third of what a barber would charge them. Plus they bring in their small children for that exact cut and children don't sit still at all. Yeah. Would totally agree. Um, yeah, you'd be Audric like, said, ticking, uh, you Audric know? brought up a point about um, true yet your tools, depending on what you use for said clients, the cost clearly should be based on time and complexity. Yeah. I think everyone kind of is in agreement. Yeah. yeah. Cause and I then, think complexity fa- factors in with time. Yeah, and then everyone brought up um, the pink tax, you know, because of on women, which basically that's the um, the feminine products just we're we're taxed, like we pay more. Uh (laughs) Um, So I I don't know if that plays into how it all started, but yeah, well, I I, yeah, I think that was definitely a part of it. Like I think 
<clears throat> I think it's because of the blow dry and the time. I think it was the time. Yeah. Yeah. But and I and I'm and it is. I think a lot of people do charge by time now. Yeah. When you go yeah. on to even if you label anybody's website, label. that was a beautiful <laughs> accent. That was like label. I went to label. <laughs> <laughs> It was like Austin Powers. Mm, I know. Gold. <laughs> Gold. <laughs> mm. Wow. <laughs> he gets a new widow's peak and he becomes foreign. <laughs> You're as red Thanks, as your, your roses. I know, I know. Roses, right? I know, I'm done. I'm done. All right. uh, <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Well, go. <laughs> no matter the label. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. I want to say right. too, like the benefits oh. of the hourly pricing is you, your client is leaving knowing what their service is going to be and like what what their price is. So there's not yeah. any like surprise added charges. Um, you can talk about it beforehand. And, you're, and I think the most important thing is knowing your timing so that yeah. they know like, okay. Right. There's a lot of self-awareness that's got to, that's, be in place before yeah. you implement this. Yes. Yeah. That's the part I like about it, though, because it starts conversation and communication, which I love mo- happening more often, yeah. especially with front desk. And um, just because at first it might be awkward or it might be hard or it might be confusing, yeah. like anything new, you know? So I feel like it helps um, people understand and talk about, all of this stuff that goes into haircutting yeah. and, and mm-hmm. you know, your client then becomes aware and understanding too. And the stylist also, because in that scenario where people are going to be, if you're framing it as people are paying for your time, then you need like that does away with the, okay, I'm running 15 minutes late. So this next haircut, I got to be able to crank out in 45 minutes because this person's paying for 60 minutes of your time. Yeah. So mm-hmm. you need to be ready to start booking like that and you yeah. also right and you also need that communication to be good and the relationship to be good with people that are helping you book right yeah and it kind of forces that which is that's good, a good yeah that's you a know? good call yeah. i think people stopped being late because we still charged even if you were late like you were still paying for that time oh, so that's a thought I, too a lot yeah. of people got there on time after that and i think that <laughs> you know just to continue off of that i yeah. think that that then rolls into the like no show the Mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff like now you have purchased this hour of my time Mm -hmm. yeah whether you're here or not you're paying it yeah yeah Yeah. that's kind of well becky in the chat just said what so what happens if it takes longer than it should like you say like you get interrupted Mm -hmm. um like you you are taking longer well i think that's where the self-awareness comes in yeah like if you need to i mean of course things are going to happen and you just sort of roll with it as it goes. But like, if you are incapable of doing a 60 minute haircut four out of five times a day, then you need to be maybe booking 75 minute haircuts mm-hmm. or yeah. 90 that was, minute haircuts. That was the biggest reason with us. Remember when we were going to transition with that because of, um, I think it was Thad doing cuts and, yeah. and, and it was like a lot of men were coming in with longer hair Mm-hmm. And it was everyone like to get the software to, to work cohesively with everyone and their timing. I think it was more about everyone was at such different places yeah. on the floor. And that would be like you could customize that now. Yeah. You know, yeah. Now you can sh- go in shout out to Mevo. To Mevo. Yeah. Yeah. Today's episode is sponsored by Mevo, the salon and spa software that stands out from the crowd. Forget what you know about standard software with their customizable dashboards. Mevo brings smart centers alive with real-time data, metrics, and goals tailored just for you. And when it comes to booking, Mevo's appointment book is a game changer equipped with AI and voice commands for the fastest and smartest scheduling experience. With over 150 reports at your fingertips, Mevo is designed to elevate your business, streamline your operations, and boost your revenue. Experience the difference with Mevo, salon and spa software like no other. Visit Mevo.com slash splitting hairs for more information. Uh, this article was interesting. Um, looking at the, it's basically how your name affects your career or how it could influence your career, which I just thought was a funny article. It has nothing to do with hair. 
Uh, but everything for, to do with me. But everything to do with hair. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I was reading it. I was like, oh, that's what this is. Oh, OK. There's no real like I, I don't think there's the, there's the obvious that. So, you know, when you, you go online and you look up information about this. Yeah. There's like the obvious um, things of why back in the day they they had you were given your name to identify sometimes with your occupation, yeah. you know? So hair doesn't mean that they were hairdressers. And I actually looked your name up, Brian. Did you? I mean, in the past. Because I was curious. Well, it's Scottish. That's what I got when I looked it up. But maybe it was, you can find other well, things. Well, from what I heard at one point, and I don't know the truth because who knows, but I heard that it was O'Hair back in the day because we're like mm-hmm. 85% Irish. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, well, I got Scottish and um, farmer and housework in 1940 were the top reported jobs for men and women in the USA named Hare, H-A-I-R-E. Look at that. Look yeah. at that. And then... Um, I'm not doing any of that. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, and then another art article, it said, like, um, the reason for, like, there's so many Smiths. Mm-hmm. Um, it's because many kinds of craftsmen, craftsmen mm. important to the village or town, a smith makes something like so crafts, craftsmen yeah. or a blacksmith or. So back in the day, the job came first <laughs> and then the name. Well, maybe. The family, I mean, for some, whatever the family. it was like the family. But then there's other instances like it was off of characteristics of families, um, probably even. It, it, it goes dives deep, so I don't yeah. really think it has any relation to that. But no, but my I think now it's just was, funny when it happens. Reading, yeah, yeah, reading this article, and I've heard. I mean, you've been working for us and with us for a long time, and so you hear people, or even now, we still have conversations of this is Brian Hare, mm-hmm. and people are like, "Oh my god, that's so funny." They yeah, didn't change it. <laughs> so did did it have anything? Was it just a funny thing for <clears> you, like when you first started? Like, why did you do hair? I actually have no idea. When <laughs> it's nice it's to meet 10:50. you. It's ten fifty. Well, quick, and quickly. Uh, quick. I honest, no, nothing to do with my name. It was just, it was funny luck. Like, yeah, it was, I right? enjoyed doing hair. Decided to go to hair school, and and now you get to have it on your tattooed on your. Yeah, it's let on me it. see, Brian. Do you think it inf- hair style? Did it influence? It's cute. Like, it you think my email. being a young person though at all? No. Like. Thinking about no, hair like, I never went to a salon. My mom never went to a salon. The first time I was in a salon is when I got a job at one. Okay, like after hair school, like it, it, I was so far removed from that world that it makes it kind of even funnier that the name and here yeah. I am. Yeah. And the so. article that you put up to that was most cases the the men or women in their occupation that had something to do with yeah. their last name. It was more by chance. Yeah, they, had, it they wasn't, said it really mm-hmm. had nothing to do either. But cool. All right, so uh, <laughs> we're going to take a break real quick. Uh, trivia question. I'm going to mm. throw that out there. Uh, so let me, um, that. I think it is. Okay. I have one too. Oh. All right. <laughs> so the trivia question, I have it on my phone. Uh, the question is, and this is for everybody out there listening, so you can guess. Um, the very first blow dryer was patented in America by Gabriel uh, Kanzagia in what year? Jeez. The softball. very first <laughs> portable blow dryer. Do you or your clients struggle with frizzy hair? To get rid of frizz, you need the right levels of humectants, silicones, and conditioning agents for your hair and your environment. And both of those things change over time. At Formulate, your chemist will work with you to dial in and adjust your dosage of humectants, silicones, and conditioning agents to solve your frizz problem. Do you want to truly understand your skin and hair once and for all? Go to formulate.co, take the free quiz, and get hooked up with their chemist to get the exact product that you need. Go to formulate.co slash Matt Beck. Now back to the show. Okay, we're back. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So you gotta have a guess. So what do you think? Carly. I'm gonna say 80s. 1980s? No. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was portable? the worst. Portable? Yeah, the first portable blow dryer. I'm going portable. 50s. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with 1980. Mm, I'm gonna go with wait what did you say Bri? 
fifties. Mm, I'm gonna go forties. Nineteen eleven. <laughs> what? Wow. My God. Yeah. Wow. Crazy, right? All right. Um, and I'll show a picture of it up on the screen. Fifties um, are just when they made it cute. This will be uh, Chris. I forgot to put that up there, but I'll um I'll throw a picture up of the patent uh so you guys can see what it looked like, but it kind of resembled the Dyson. A see, little bit, which is full circle. <laughs> funny how that works, right? Um, I guess you got me with portable. Like, yeah. Yeah. So. Well, like eight, it was 1888 was the first blow dryer, but it was like this machine that yeah. kind of went on your head, you know, like wrapped and then it blew the air over. Uh, so 1911. I mm. like asking the, the trivia. We were actually at trivia last night. I'm the worst trivia person <laughs> on the planet. I love trivia. On I love Thursdays. trivia too. But we're going to add it to the show. It should be fun. Hopefully you guys enjoy the little. I like music uh, trivia. So like, That's what. So yeah, we like, Thursday nights. Yeah. Um, yeah, at Old Stone. It's yeah, fun. it's fun. Righteous is like yeah, a great Yeah, it's really host. fun. You should yeah. come. You guys should all come. Huh? Thursday nights. I'll sleep over. We yeah. don't go every Thursday, so we've, yeah, we don't, we've yeah. only yeah. gone twice, but <coughs> it is fun. The last thing I want to talk about is Harry Styles changing his hair. Uh, opinions for everybody out there. Did you like Harry Styles' hair pre yes. or now? Um, I have both images, so here's the new haircut. And then I think everyone know, remembers his old, right? Yeah. Um, oh, well, maybe not. His but old. but uh, I loved his old hair, cut, yeah. obviously. So, but maybe who knows what he's doing? And that's the thing about bringing up celebrities' yeah. hair is really, but um, it did hit, you know, popular. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. It was talked so, about. So, do you uh, like it like this or do you like it like the other way, like this? We're talking about <laughs> Harry Styles' his hairstyle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, cool. Let's spin the wheel. Uh, on it. This show is everywhere today. Uh, we did have some fun at the beginning, though. We I definitely did. Still I think the fun. power outage threw us off. Yeah. I thought I messed something up over here. Yeah. It, our thing exploded. <laughs> all right. So who's going to spin? Um, who do we got in the chat? How do you want to pick? Who's the cheesesteak one? <laughs> that was a funny comment. And let's, um, uh, Audric Brown. Let's do that. Audric Brown. Okay, Audric, you're spinning the wheel. Yeah, we've got Minerva Beauty on there, so you could win something from them. Formulate.co, you could win a custom formulation uh, for your hair and skin. Uh, and then Mevo2 is giving away some tickets to their upcoming events. And then we've got a ton of tools from the freesaloneducation.com store. So let's give it a spin. Brian, and can you turn that up a little bit? And let's see what you win. All right, cool. Sorry, I didn't know. Okay. You want a brand new car. And it's going, <laughs> and it's going, and it's going, and it's formulate. All right. Oh, sweet. All right, cool. So, all you have to do. Congratulations, email uh, info at freesaloneducation.com and we will uh, send your information over to Formulate and you will get a free code to get your free formulation for your hair or skin. Um, good show. Yeah. 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 Nailed it. You know, nailed it. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the show. Are you guys enjoying it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's fun. It is. I wish I we had more time. Yeah. Well, we yeah. can start Tough. at nine. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long day. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> all right rate and review us <laughs> all right yeah um make sure you uh put those reviews in itunes so that we can grow the show uh make sure you're following us on itunes and also subscribe to the channel follow brian hair at hairstyle across all social media platforms with and, the yes and carly at hair by carly <laughs> Steve. matt will edit this later <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, follow us everything at free salon education thank you guys again so much and uh, we will see you next week uh, on the show bye Thanks. bye bye